Okay, so I thought it might be interesting just to um, show you my technique for painting uh, animal fur or, or hair. And it's quite simple. Um, this is why I don't throw away my old brushes, even when they're totally splayed out like that. That's actually what you want. You want an old splayed out brush. It's not that you think is not much good for anything except maybe mixing some paint. And um, unfortunately the dog's black, so it's probably not the best colour to um, demonstrate this. But we just put on a bit of black paint. Well, actually this isn't black, I don't use black. This is Van Dyke Brown. I don't use black because I find black to be a very dead colour. So, let's paint them in like that. Then we get our splayed brush and we just dab it like, like that into our like this into our highlight or our other colour okay so all those splayed bristles pick up that colour and then we just lightly brush it on and you see that all those splayed bristles produce lots of little fine lines actually gone a little bit too heavy there so just dry my brush dab it into the black now just knock that back a bit okay I hope you can see that I just want to do it lightly Okay, and uh, I've done the same for the, the hair there, you can see all those very fine lines, that's from the splayed bristles. So that gives you the, the feeling of fur or hair. I even use this for grass, it's good for grass, anything where you need that sort of texture. Okay. Um, I'll just add a little bit of burnt sienna here. It's probably too dark for you to see. All right. Uh, when you get close to the edge, sometimes uh, the splay brush can uh, be a little difficult to control. So I use a very fine sable brush and just come down those edges just to pick out the highlights You don't want to overmix it or overwork it. All right. When it's dry, if you need some some more highlight, wait till it's dry and add a little bit more highlight on top, and you'll find that your your splayed bristles will uh, make a, a nice effect on top of the wet on dry. Um, even though your paint brushes uh, with these splay bristles, uh, after a while they can stick together so just give them a good... Uh, you don't, I don't wash them, 
I just dry them on a paper towel just wipe off all the excess paint and they'll come back to what they were um, another point to note is that the direction of your brush strokes can also help you define your form so you see here the brush strokes going down with the fur it's creating the shape of that leg um, it's a little bit narrow up there so I think we just need to put a little bit in here not much there you go and that just helps define your form and that works uh, with all sorts of things also uh, because this is very similar I've used uh, Van Dyke Brown here I've put burnt sienna through the fur as well just in places just to break up that flatness and also to give it some uh, difference even though he's a lot darker than the pants I've still used the same pigment so I've just added a little burnt sienna in places just so he, he's different from the the hue of the pants okay so there we go that's pretty much our finished beast so just to summarize um, use a combination of fine pointed brushes and uh, splayed brushes make sure your splayed brush doesn't keep, get clogged up dry it off or wipe off the excess and use it again use the brush strokes to help define your form and um, don't overwork areas if you find that happening a little bit here I've overworked uh, leave it alone let it dry and then later on I'll I'll go over it with just a few touches of probably pure Van Dyke brown just to uh, take that sort of flatness away and break it up a bit maybe add a few just very uh, small highlights here and there just to really bring them out other than that good luck